What's up, you guys? It's Jono. Today, I'm going to show you how to install fans on your gaming PC. Now, this is kind of a random video for me, but you guys know I do have a seriously awesome gaming PC. I love this thing. And every once in a while, when I do upgrades to it, I try to make a video just to help out anybody out there in the world of YouTube that it might help out. So let's go ahead and check out what fans that I get. These were about eight bucks on Amazon. They have blue LEDs in them which match the blue LEDs that are already in my case so that's why I got them I probably could have got better fans higher performance fans pretty much everything inside my case is Corsair and my case is Corsair so I looked at Corsair fans but at the end of the day the manufacturer that sent me my PC sent the fans that look exactly like these ones so I got fans that look exactly like the ones that came with my PC now my PC was made by Zydax.com this is not a sponsor Sponsored video. I just love their service so much that I'm willing to promote it full free. So yeah, Zydax.com, I highly recommend it. People say that you spend too much when you get your PC built by somebody, but I disagree. You could drop a part and break that part, and then you're responsible for replacing that part, and that's literally the reason why I got somebody else to build it for me, and Zydax did an extremely good job pricing all the parts. I did a price job on all the parts, and they were all the exact same price. So anyway, I like Zydax. This is my PC. You can see those two little bays at the bottom that I just pointed at. That's what we're going to take out. But in the meantime, let's just take a look at my gorgeous PC. One of the reasons I make these videos is because people do like to see my PC. It is water cooled Corsair. You can see all the fans that I've got in here. All those fans are controlled by my fan controller. I have a really nice fan controller that was offered as a part of my PC build. Those of you who built your own PC, do you have a fan controller? Well, I do because it was offered by the people who built it and I just checked the box that said, yeah, throw it in there. Now, what does that mean? It just means that I could have powered my fans using my fan controller. However, I could not find any extra power off of my fan controller. So we'll get into that in just a little bit when I show you how to power your fan. But first, we need to take out these blank bays and we need to replace them with my fans. So that's what we're going to get into first. I need to turn off the computer. I'm going to unplug every single cable from the computer. Here's the front view of my computer. There's my fan controller. There's the big old Zydax logo. I really do like them a lot. I wish that they would sponsor me or something because I just love their company. I'm a big fan. And let's go ahead and just turn off the computer and you can see everything will shut down in just a second. Goodbye computer, you will come back with upgrades. Let's go ahead and get into those upgrades right now. All right, you guys, so you can see we are looking at the back of my PC. I'm getting rid of the power and turning everything off. I'm going to unplug all my audio, all my monitors, my Elgato. Got to unplug everything, unplug the keyboard, unplug the network cable, unplug all my various USBs and everything. So yes, for all of you OCD people, I left the unplugging of every single object in here so you can just see me unplug everything. Boom, 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 boom. Always unplug your cables one at a time, you guys, and make sure that if they have any little clicky things that you have to click to unplug them, that you don't just yank and yank on them. Like check for those little clicky things. You could break your cables or you could break your cards. All right, there's the inside of the PC. I laid it down on its side. So this is the side view. You can see the underside of the video card, which you don't really see that often. And it looks really cool, by the way. All right, so now I got my trusty screwdriver and we are just going to lay into these screws and go ahead and get them unscrewed. I sped up this process, but again, for all you OCD people who love to see screws being unscrewed, there you go. I unscrewed the screws. Yay! All right, so we got the screws unscrewed. We got all of my parts here laid out. We got my power. I'm going to show you guys how these things are powered. There's two different ways you can power them, and you can daisy chain, and we are going to need to daisy chain because I got myself into a little bit of a sticky situation with the power. I'll get into that in just a second. First, let's look at the screws that came on my computer versus the screws that came inside of here. I'm going to go ahead and use the screws that came with the fans. I like them. They're a little bit more sleek. They're going to be on the bottom of the computer, so it literally does not matter which screws I use, but I just like those ones a little bit better. Now, let's go ahead and pop that in there. One thing you want to consider is 
which way is the wind supposed to blow it depends on where the location of the fan is because these are on the bottom of the pc we want that cold air to come up from the bottom so they need to blow into the pc not out of the pc that's important and this is what it's going to look like on both sides once i get done installing those and as you can see here through the power and the magic of youtube i am able to show you the installed fans you did not have to see me doing all the screws and doing all that extra work. It was a little bit boring, so I cut it all out. There you go, nice and installed. Looking good, looking good. The only thing I haven't done here is power them, so I need to get these guys some power. Let's go check out some of the options. Now, even though they're right next to my power supply, I cannot power them from my power supply. Now, one fan I did get plugged in. This is going to the SysFan 2 on my motherboard. It's either SysFan 1 or SysFan 2. I've got a bunch of system fan places on my motherboard, actually a ridiculous amount, but because I have a fan controller, that's actually where they're all powered and that's all routed to the back of the PC, not the front. That's why you can't see any fan cables. All the fan cables you will see go to the back, but since these guys cannot be plugged into the fan controller, I'm just gonna plug them into the motherboard. I think there will be limitations on that, like the power supply that they're able to get and the speed that they're able to hit, but no worries. Now, one of my fans would not reach to the motherboard, so I daisy chained it to the other one. Basically, I got one plugged into the motherboard and then I plugged the other one in via these old school hard drive plugins. I only remember those plugins because that's how my old hard drives used to plug in. Now, I've got SSD on every Thing for this so I don't have any of those to just plug into I was looking for them and then realized I won't have them because I have SSD so because I couldn't locate them I just daisy chained it daisy chain is gonna give you a tiny bit less power it's not really noticeable until you get a lot of daisy chains but as you can see I cannot reach the other sysfan locations and my motherboard has a ton of places where I could put fans I'm gonna go ahead and point out all those right now and yeah there's so many of them but I just can't reach them and they're intended for other fans that have been routed to the back of my PC to the fan controller so I'm literally not using any of them even though they're all open I simply can't reach them and I don't want to have cables going all across my PC so the daisy chain gets the cables off to the bottom and it also allows me to just get it plugged in I may be able to run power from my fan controller later but unfortunately I don't have any of the cables to do that and the current cables that come from my fan controller have all maxed out so I'm not really sure exactly how I would do that I could look into it into the future or have one of my friends who's more advanced than I am look into it but for now they work I'm gonna turn on the computer and they're gonna work so it's gonna be a beautiful thing but I have made one mistake if you guys are really really advanced users you already noticed my mistake and I'm gonna have to fix that in just a second so this is when I turned on the computer for the first time I wanted to make sure that my daisy chain works and as you can see it does work there they go they kicked on I believe that the second one kicked on a little bit slower than the first one because like I said it's gonna get just a tiny bit less power because it's daisy chained now I don't know if that's exactly the truth you know the LEDs came on instantly because they require less power the fan actually kicked on a little bit slower because it requires more power I'm pretty sure that that's the truth and that's the proof of it because it turned on slower however I don't know I mean you guys can roast me in the comments if I'm wrong on that but that seems like it would be the logic to me since we daisy chained it it would move that power just a little bit slower over there than the first one so there we go I can tell now that I have got air coming out the bottom of my PC that is the mistake I made you guys I put them in backwards so I will tell you that you can see these little horizontal rows and these horizontal columns or whatever you want to call these things right here all right those determine which way your fan is going to blow all right so just make sure that you face those in the direction that you want your fan to blow now I went ahead and took apart the PC all over again unplugged every single thing flipped it over unscrewed it rescrewed it you know I did everything and then I cut all that out so you guys could see and now did you see the other fan turned on first and then the first fan turned on second so anyway maybe my theory about the daisy chain power is totally wrong I have no idea it totally just blew my theory out of the water with the way that they booted I didn't notice that until I was editing just now so that's fairly interesting the only thing that I will note is you can probably tell just by looking that every other fan inside my machine is moving extremely faster than these fans and these fans are not kicking out very much air and the other fans on my machine are kicking out like an insane amount of air I mean they are spinning so fast you could see on my fan controller they're set at 2,000 revolutions per minute now my fans that I just bought 
can't even go to 2000 revolutions per minute that's rpms and look at the wind that's coming off of those it's actually blowing papers nearby okay so these things kick out a lot of wind i wish that those bottom fans were kicking out that crazy amount of wind as well i think that it would definitely help cool everything down but since that's not really going to happen, I'm not able to get them to the fan controller. And I don't even know if they're rated to go to 2000 RPMs. I'm not sure if there's like some details, if I should have got higher quality fans that could actually plug into my fan controller. But yeah, you can see there 2000 RPMs. And, um, you know, I'm a little bit of a noob when it comes to my fan controller. It was sent to me on auto. I kicked it up to manual and dialed it all the way up to max and it runs pretty quietly. So I just leave it at max all the time. Hey, that's just me. I just want it to be nice and cool. And I live in a very, very hot area, Sacramento, California. Shout out to all the Sacramento locals. Anyway, you guys, that's going to be the end for the video. I hope you liked poking around my PC with me. I got my fans installed. Total cost was about 16 bucks and maybe about an hour of my time. And I decided to edit the video for you guys to look at it. And that's what really cost me most of the time. Otherwise, this would have been a lot faster job. Anyway, thank you so much. Smack the like button. Hit the subscribe. Drop me a comment what you think down below and if you guys want to see my pc build you can check out my unboxing videos those are previous videos on my channel check out all the specs and all the hardware that's inside my pc thank you everybody for watching thank you to my amazing subscribers and peace